Hey there, want to make a podcast? Spotify's got a platform that lets you make one super easily, then distribute it everywhere and even earn money all in one place for free. It's called Spotify for Podcasters. And here's how it works. Spotify for Podcasters lets you record and edit podcasts right from your phone or computer. So no matter what your setup is like, you can start creating today. Then you can distribute your podcast to Spotify and everywhere else podcasts are heard. Video podcasts are available on Spotify as well. With Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. And best of all, it's totally free with no catch. Ever since I discovered Spotify for podcasters, I've been able to reach more listeners as well as start earning advertising revenue. I highly recommend you give it a try. Download the Spotify for podcasters app or go to spotify.com slash podcasters to get started. Hey there. I hope you're having an amazing day or night. Today, we are going to be talking about how to land an interview. So stay with me. You are listening to the Career Talk Learn, Grow, Thrive podcast, where we talk about all things career related. I tell you how it is and we get right to the point. I am your host, Stephanie Dennis. My background is in HR, which is what I have my master's degree in. And this is a good time to mention this podcast does contain adult language. All right, getting into it here. How to land an interview. Getting an interview can be hard. No doubt about it. That said, there are things we can do to improve our chances. So let's get into it. Number one, resumes for specific roles. And now I don't mean that you should create a brand new resume every time you submit a job application. That would be chaos. However, I do think that we can have general resumes, right? So if you're a marketing professional, you may have a resume that is tailored towards product marketing management. You may have a resume that is tailored towards content management. You may have a resume that is tailored towards more PR, depending on what you're looking to do, right? So having general resumes. Now, don't phrase them PR resume. (laughs) Name them or don't name them that. Uh, Name them in a way where you know what they're for, but it's not so obvious that you just have like a bajillion resumes out there. It also could be leadership roles. Maybe you have the same resume and you're a recruiter and you're going to apply for a recruiting type roles, but you want a resume for leadership roles versus individual contributor positions. So generally having a few different resumes, depending on what type of roles you are applying for. Number two, complete the online application. (laughs) Seems so simple, so basic, but if you don't complete the application, your chances go down drastically. (laughs) Number three, once you do complete the application, follow up with the recruiter and or hiring manager on LinkedIn. Be brief, let them know you're interested, let them know you applied and that you would love to have a conversation. Number four, get referred by somebody who works there. Probably the quickest way to get a conversation. I know a lot of organizations have their recruiting team talk to referrals, regardless of whether or not they're going to be a good fit. So typically getting a referral um, will be the fast track to an interview. And not all companies have that rule or guideline or policy or whatever, but a good portion of them do because they want to encourage referrals. Number five, does anyone in your network know anyone who works for the company or has contacts in their network? So maybe you know person one who works for the company and they can refer you. Maybe you know person one who knows person two who could possibly refer you or at least get you an email to the right person. Essentially utilizing your network and asking for introductions. And you can do introductions on LinkedIn as well. Number six, keep going. Don't stop applying. Don't stop putting yourself out there. I know it can be really, really discouraging. I fully understand that. Just keep submitting the applications. It usually takes an inappropriate amount of applications before you land a job, not an interview, but before you get an offer. Usually, I don't want to say that is a general rule, but I think I read somewhere it was like a crazy amount. It was like between 100 and 200 applications uh, on it. the average person has to put in before they get an offer. Now that said, that is going to vary drastically depending on the market. Number six, keep going. Don't get discouraged. I know it's hard. I know it is, 
find a way. Number seven, use a variety of websites, right? LinkedIn, Indeed. There are, you know, very specific uh, job boards for remote work. There are industry specific jobs, right? So um, there are other job boards you might use if you're in tech versus marketing. Explore, you know, Slack channels, things of that nature. I know there's like a product marketing management. Uh, I think it's called product marketing manager, uh, product marketing alliance, maybe angel list. So use a variety of resources uh, to learn about new jobs and, and apply to them. Number eight, prepare a cover letter template. I do not do cover letters. <laughs> that said, I also don't read them. <laughs> that said, <laughs> there are some jobs that require a cover letter. Now, tip, your typical person, I am your typical person when it comes to this, is going to see cover letter required and just leave the application, literally close the browser tab. However, because most of us are like, no thanks, we don't have time for this shit. If you actually take the time to create a cover letter template, you will for sure stand out uh, because I promise you most people aren't doing it. Number nine, freshen up your resume. And always think about your resume as what were the biggest challenges? What are the problems you're solving? What are the goals you're going after? And highlight that sort of in content on your resume. But also make sure you get a second set of eyes. Have a friend um, or someone you work for or with look at your resume um, if that's appropriate. I prefer when people have people they know and they worked with look at their resume because more often than not, people who you've worked with will be like, oh my gosh, you're missing this. You're missing that. Why didn't you talk about this? Right? If they know what you do on a daily basis, they know the struggles that you have overcome and that you work through on a regular basis. That's the kind of information and insight you want. Now, if you can't get that, definitely somewhat a good friend, a family member, maybe someone you talk to about work, your partner, significant other, whatever it might be. Getting that second set of eyes is really helpful. Number 10, apply to jobs that you are a match for. I know it seems like really obvious, like dust stuff, of course, but a lot of people, let me tell you, I review hundreds of resumes daily, if not weekly, and people apply to the most outrageous things sometimes. I'm like, why? Like, why did you even waste your time and effort? So, make sure you're applying to things you're a match for, but not a perfect match. So I'll say that if you match 60 to 70% of the requirements and you're really excited about the job, apply for it. You never know. A fun fact. Oh, I'm drawing a blank on the stats. I think women are more likely to apply to jobs they're a perfect match for. Whereas like men, I think it's like 50 to 60%. If they match the requirements, they'll apply for it. Let's say 40 to 60 because I don't remember the stat. I know it's pretty low. So I would say 60 to 70%. Let's find a happy medium, right? Number 11, research before you apply. You want to make sure that you're applying to companies that you actually want to interview for. I've been guilty of this, or maybe I'm going too quickly, right? I'm in like that application mode and I'm going and I'm applying to a bunch of things that look really interesting to me. And I forget to take that extra minute to make sure it's going to be a good fit. Um, so then the company reaches out and they're like, Hey, we'd love to have an interview with you. And then I'm like, wait, what was that company again? And then I go do my research and I'm like, Ooh. <laughs> JK. It's just awkward and people, it's a small world, right? People remember that sort of thing. So just make sure you take that extra minute to do your research. And number 12, send a direct note to the team. If you can find their email or if you know someone who has their email, or even if you know like the general email structure, if it's a smaller company, if it's a big company that may not help you, but sometimes it's like a, you know, a first letter of the first name and then the last name or first letter of the first name and the first six digits of the last name or whatever it might be, right? Try and send a direct email. If you know the email, if you can find it, there are, hint, hint, there are Google Chrome plugins that can actually help you find people's email addresses online. Recruiters use it to try and recruit folks. And I know a lot of salespeople use it too. So try and reach out directly. Follow up on LinkedIn if you can't. Try and have an introduction from someone in your network or someone in your network who knows someone in their network, right? Uh, referral, um, trying to get, basically you're trying to get a direct line of communication to someone who can have a conversation with you, but also doing applications and cover letters and things like that can help you stand out as well. So hopefully that was helpful. If you have questions or a topic you want me to cover, let me know. I would love to help if I'm able to 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here listening. Really appreciate it. You can continue to support the show, listening, sharing with a friend, leaving a rating and or review monetarily, uh, PayPal, Anchor, the links are below. You can find me on the socials, Steph Dennis 13, Instagram and TikTok, Steph Dennis for Clubhouse, and then Career Talk Podcast on Instagram as well. We are written, produced, hosted, and edited by yours truly. You are amazing. So awesome. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.